Hi everyone, the topic I will present today is Graph is all you need, lightweight data agnostic neural architecture search without training. My name is Zhenghan Huang. I'm a second year PhD student from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. And deep learning has reshaped the modern society and we can find a bunch of commercialized AI products such as AlphaGo, ChatGPT, and Sora. Manually determining the optimal neural architecture is laborious, time-consuming, and subjected to the human bias. Um, a way of automating the neural architecture, neural architecture design is uh, neural architecture search, i.e. NAS, and uh, it can be defined by equation 1. The optimal weights is obtained by training the model to converge, and using these optimal weights, um, people can compare the model performance and uh, find the optimal neural architecture. Uh, we consider three facts. The first fact is that NAS is known to be computationally expensive. The second fact is that an arbitrary neural architecture can be represented by a computational graph in the back propagation process. The third fact is that calculation of graph measures is much more lightweight compared to the forward or backward propagation process. So based on these three facts, we think uh, if one can map a neural architecture to a conventional graph, uh, i.e. If we can find a mapping function that can map an arbitrary neural architecture to a graph, then each neural architecture can be char characterized by graph measures. And one example of graph measures can be average degree. So based on that, we propose a framework named NAS graph. And uh, the basic element in the NAS graph framework is a graph block. A graph block is a, a group of multiple layers. and uh, for each layer, we will apply the forward propagation process as the equation 2 suggests. And uh, for each prop propagation pro forward propagation process, we will apply the mask to ensure each time only one channel is O1's matrix, while the rest of channels is O0 matrix. And we use equation 3 to determine the score f uh, between a pair of uh, graph nodes. And based on that, we can, we can obtain a graph given a neural architecture. And a toy example is, is shown by the figure below. Here, each time we activate one channel by making the, the input of that channel, the channel of that input to be O1's matrix, and then we compute the score and determine the connectivity. So formally, um, the input in, for the NAS graph framework is a neural architecture where the weights are randomly initialized, and there is a hyperparameter to control the threshold. And we loop through every graph blocks and uh, then we activate the channel one by one. And for each channel, we compute the score to determine if there will be an edge between graph node VI and VG, or if there's no edge between these two nodes. At the end of the day, we can obtain a, a graph. This graph this graph has a one-to-one -one correspondence uh, regarding to the given neural architecture. And then we compute the graph properties or graph measures and use those graph measures to do the uh, to do the NAS, and uh, the figure shown here is the result on uh, on various standard NAS benchmarks, and uh, the graph measure we 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 choose is the average degree. Despite this graph measure is pretty simple, uh, uh, we can we can do we, we we do observe empirically we observe a high correlation between the average degree and the model performance. That indicates we can use the average degree to to find a good neural architectures. And that's the performance comparison in terms of the ranking correlation. And here is the visualization for the converted graphs. And from this visualization, we can find a good neural architecture tend to correspond to a dense graph, and a bad neural architecture tend to correspond to a sparse graph. And that is consistent to the figure I shown in the previous slide. There's a, a, there's a positive correlation between the graph average degree and uh, the model performance. And uh, this table shown the ranking correlation comparison between the uh, baseline methods and our proposed method. And uh, we find that our proposed method can have a pretty high correlation uh, compared to the baseline methods. And the result is obtained on the standard NAS bench 201 benchmark. And uh, in addition to the uh, ranking correlation, we also compared the efficiency uh, uh, with the other training-free NAS methods. As the result indicated here, our method is, uh, has a very short running time. And more importantly, our method only rely on the CPU, as our method 
uh, compute the score for each neural architecture by computing the graph layers. And uh, the computation of the graph layers is pretty lightweight. So the entire computation process is uh, pretty efficient. So in summary, we propose a new paradigm of training free NAS. And by mapping an arbitrary neural architecture to a graph, we were able to analyze the neural, neural architecture through the lens of graph theory. And the ex extensive experiments on various NAS benchmarks prove the efficacy of the proposed framework. And uh, thank you for your attention.